weird being in here. Uh huh? How do you like it? It's a little like beer and vomit. And blood. A little bit of pee. Uh, sometimes I just, I'm working on a project so hard, <laughs> I can't leave the room. <laughs> you have a pee jar? Yeah! Put it in here. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to Man vs. Corinne vs. Pit. Ugly sweater edition. That's right. There's gonna be an ugly sweater throwdown up in here today. Angel commented that we should do an ugly Christmas sweater challenge, Man vs. Corinne vs. Pin style, and that's what you are about to see today. Also, because we made our own ugly sweater kit that's in the brand new Threadbanger holiday box. Oh, it's looking good too. Ah, uh, look at all that sh that's in there. That is filled to the brim with holiday goodness. All right, so now we got both of our sweater kits. What is inside is the question. Yeah, so let's get started, shall we? Oh, oh, always right. sneaking it in there. All right, open it up. All right, first up, we got several pieces of felt, some glue, and then we got all this sh What is all this sh We got little doodads, lots of little sequins, and pom-poms, and rick-a-rack. Rick-a-rack? rick a rick a rack rick a rack rick a Oh, look at this, little eyes in here. Nice. We got some black puff paint. Oh, yeah. You can make a sweatshirt real ugly with these things. This is a solid kit, along yeah. with our safety green sweaters. These are going to be ugly as shit. Um, do you have a plan at all? No. I've been thinking about mine for weeks. I needed a f***ing plan? Oh, sh**. I need a f***ing plan. <laughs> Speaking of sweaters, you have a pretty nice sweater on. This is a uh, this is from Hot Topic. Huh. It's nice, but it's not as nice as my sweater T-shirt. Oh, I didn't. That is also a uh, a prized possession in the Threadbanger holiday box. It looks like a knitted sweater. It's nice. Can you just just go out a little bit more? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Let's get on with making these sweaters. Well, my plan is to glue a bunch of these little f***ing sequins on here. There are a lot of f***ing sequins I, in here. I need like five hours, at least three. <laughs> <laughs> I am big into statement sweaters, so I'm gonna put something across this uh, in big bold letters. We all know that What's it gonna be? I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I know that the design definitely has to include a middle finger somehow. No one saw that coming. All right, with the green sweatshirt here, I'm gonna use a, a red piece of felt. I'm gonna make a Christmas tree, hmm. red and green, kind of like this holiday combo already. I'm gonna cut that out, and then I'm gonna put these little, what the f are these things? It's called Rick Rack. Is there, are you serious? These are called Rick Rack? This stuff? Yeah, what the f is this? Rick Rack. All right, I'm gonna take some of this Rick Rack and I'm gonna kind of <laughs> decorate it uh, like it's kind of like the Christmas tree garland. I'm pretty impressed with your tree. It's cute. But it gets even cuter when I put the eyes on. These were f***ing clutch to put in this kit. And then I'm using some Rick and Rack to make <laughs> some eyebrows which look very devious. Look at that. And mean. That's impressive. Very cute. What's, uh, what's going on over there speaking of cute? So first of all, the plan actually pretty much revolves around the fact that I want cat heads on this sweatshirt. Oh, very new. I, I actually didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I had a plan and then I like deviated from the plan because you said something about a statement sweater and <laughs> then I wanted a statement sweater. So I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, I decided to go back to plan number one, which is based on the sock design. So this is like in honor of my favorite holiday socks. Sorry to interrupt, but if you like holiday socks, check this out. Huh? Oh yeah. Red banger holiday socks. In the box for the holiday season, direct to your door. Boom. All right, yeah. keep on going. Sorry. First of all, I put some masking tape down to make sure everything stays lined up because things can tend to shift a little bit. Pro tip. Pro yeah, tip. Yeah, pro tip. Um, and then I just started gluing shit onto the sweatshirt uh, very meticulously. I also cut some very skinny strips of felt, as you can see, and some of the rickrack to create kind of like that repeat pattern effect mm -hmm. that's in socks. That looks good. Are those little Christmas trees? Yeah, little Christmas, well, I would just call them trees. Actually, there's a whole story going on here. Oh. So you start with the seashells down at the bottom uh -huh. and then you have flowers. Yeah. Um, the cat heads pretty much represent our like cat overlords. Right, they have the one, they the one eye cat. Everything. Yeah, what's its nose? Oh, <laughs> I thought that was its one seeing <laughs> evil eye. It's its little heart nose. Oh, uh, okay. Does it look like an eye? Yeah, look, well, those are the <laughs> cat overlords. Anyway, so then you got the trees here, and, and then you go into town where the little mm. bells are lining the streets, and then the are snow. Are you serious? You thought really that hard about this? <laughs> and then the snow, and then the cat overlords. Holy shit. In space with the stars. Wow, that was a journey. <laughs> 
All I have to do now, which is the most exciting part, is peel the f***ing tape off. Oh, a little peel porn over there. Look at that, it Voila. looks good. Yeah, I think it looks interesting. Well, I'm just taking the felt over here, just making a, a, a simple slogan, really, of letters, drawing them out, cutting them out, gluing them on. And the message is quite clear uh, for all who reads it, uh, you know. Spoiler alert, Santa isn't real. Stop have? lying to your children. This is where it gets clever. The middle finger is the eye. Now the pine tree, now he's angry upon learning Santa isn't real and he's pissed. Uh, and then I used uh, some of these, they look like snowflakes. Just gluing those on all over the place. Look like it's it's snowing. I used the pom pom, pom poms? Is that what these are? Yeah. Things are called? As little Christmas ornaments. That's cute. I've actually met Santa. Bullshit. So. Yep, this is Claus, real nice. Made you some cookies, I'm sure. No, I actually met her outside of this bar one night. You know, we hit it off, we were smoking a cigarette out back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this on. You gonna put yours on? Are you putting me on? Uh... <laughs> um, it's like I have to, I have to do a lot of work, you know yeah. what I mean? You can't get it over my bum. Ah, no, help me. No. Help! <laughs> Did you just say no? I can't breathe. What do you think? Oh, oh my goodness. Things keep popping off. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta sew those on. God damn it. This is what happens when you take the easy way out. I think that yours is spectacular. Lots of time, lots of nice. effort. <laughs> this is my Galaxy, that Over is cool. Cat Galaxy Overlord stance. That is quite a look. I think these actually did come out pretty good. And you know what? This isn't the only. DIY kit in the box. It's not. Oh, this is a big one. Jolly Rancher shot glasses. That kit is here in the Threadbanger box as well. We have uh, named them, obviously, because of legal reasons. Holly Jolly shot glasses. That's clever. Uh, but uh, don't uh, don't fool yourself. There is a package of Jolly Ranchers in here. Yo. Enough to fill this shot glass mold. And no, hook it up with the Jolly Rancher. We're not gonna. You're not gonna have enough. There's extra. There's definitely enough for one. All right. Plus some. All Here, right. On. There better be. I just need a couple more. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! If you're on top of your shit and you get the box in time, you'll have this in time for our third annual DIY shot glass holiday movie marathon. Where we wake up on Christmas morning and watch terrible movies and play drinking games until we pass out. Well, Rob does. He can't hold his liquor. <laughs> What else we got in here? We got the shot glass and GFY cookie cutters. Oh. What does that stand for? Good for you, of that, Oh, right. And wait for it, wait for it. This is the best thing in this box. Threadbanger gift wrap. That is gift wrapping paper with a middle finger on it. God damn it, that's awesome. How awesome is that? But we have a special sale going on for Cyber Monday. I forgot all about that. Yeah, this one's a big one. If you buy the box on Cyber Monday, you will get the leftover Halloween box for free. We're now calling them the Mega Merch Box. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. Or as it says here, the best deal ever. F the Hatchimal. <laughs> get yourself a Threadbanger Box. Boom! Head on over to threadbangerbox.com and get some f***ing free shit. That's all we have for you this week. Uh, be sure that you like. <laughs> be sure that you like up this video. Uh, subscribe. Why? Why uh, should they subscribe? Well, when they subscribe, they have the ability to put on notifications. That little bell right there. They need to click that. That is crucial in this YouTube universe right yeah. now because there's some weird shit going on. What is the world coming to? That's it. All right. Okay. Okay. Bye. See ya. Where, where are you going? I'm leaving. Why are you leaving that way? Hey, I'm gonna leave the regular person way.